welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little bit of a different kind of video for me, but I thought you guys may enjoy it. I dabble very lightly in the luxury goods handbag area, and I have some Louis Vuittons that I thought it would be fun for me to go over with you guys and kind of just tell you what I like, what I don't like, and I have a little baby here to unbox, so I thought it would be fun to just do a little quick video. So I will list all the bags that I have if you just want to skip to a certain bag, and then I will also list the timestamp for my little tiny unboxing down in the description box to you guys if you want to skip over to the unboxing you can get to that if you guys are going to stick with me through the whole video definitely leave me a comment guessing what you think might be in there if you guys are louis vuitton fanatics you should be able to guess pretty easily so without further blabbering let's get into it Okay guys, so my first ever Louis Vuitton piece was this guy. This is the Speedy Bandolier, I believe is what it's called, right? Um, in the size 30, and this is in the Damier Abin print. So I don't speak Louis Vuitton fluently, but I have watched like a jillion Louis Vuitton videos and kind of learned how to say some of these words, but if I butcher them, please please, please don't come for me. And I will try and remember to link these bags as well down in my description box if you guys are interested in seeing them. So this bag I picked up in January of 2018 in Las Vegas. So I had never been to Vegas before 2018 and I was there for a work thing and I just have always wanted a freaking Louis Vuitton bag. So I had some in mind, I really, really, really wanted the Pochette Matisse, um, which was a little bit more than what I wanted to spend on a bag, and they're rare, so they're kind of hard to find anyway, so I had that in mind, and then the bag I really thought I was gonna get was the Neverfull, and I think I was looking at the Neverfull in this print as well. I can't quite remember, but I hadn't really gotten into the monogram print, so I definitely thought I was gonna go with the Abin print. So, Abin, Abin, is that how you say it? I don't know. This print. <laughs> and so, I tried on the Neverfull and it just felt so big in the store, which was so odd for me. And I usually like a good tote bag, but it just felt like a big sack of a bag. And I found myself gravitating towards the Speedy, which is so strange because I feel like this is like the cliche bag. Like everyone that has a Louis Vuitton has a Speedy and they're so replicated. Like. I seriously can't look at like a fake bag and tell if it's real or fake. <laughs> I, I, so, you know, th these ones, I feel like you can buy it on eBay or you can buy it on Amazon and you'll probably have a pretty decent fake of these, but I don't know. I just feel like it's so nice to like save and buy the real thing. I don't know. I just, it was a, it's a classic bag. So anyway, what I loved about this is it comes with the crossbody, which not all speedies do. I think they make a 30 without the um, band, bandolier. I think that's what it's called when it has this um, stitching here. So this is to help um, the bag retain its structure when it's being worn crossbody, and you can also carry it as a top handle bag, which I don't really find myself doing. I love to wear this as a crossbody, and when it's full, it kind of slouches just a little bit, and I just love the look of this with my body type. So I am about five seven, five eight, and this just looks perfect on my frame. It looks a little oversized, but I think I can still pull it off. And for the longest time, I didn't have an organizer in here, but I did add an organizer. I don't necessarily love the organizer, but I got it just to like preserve the inside of the bag. Without an organizer in it, it's like a bottomless pit. Like I've packed so much in this bag um, prior to me getting the bag organizer. Um, now I feel like with the organizer, it's a little bit less um, spacey in there, but having the organizer helps me find stuff in there better. So those are just kind of like the pro cons that I found. The other thing is it is literally a bottomless pit. Um, there's no like inner compartments except this little tiny pocket here. And you can basically use this maybe for some change, maybe a lipstick or something like that. 
Um, but other than that, there's no internal pockets other than that little guy. And so everything in there kind of gets lost. But honestly, this is like such a worker bag. It's such a hidden gem. It doesn't have that Vachetta leather. So it doesn't change a color. It doesn't patina um, because it has this... Um, I don't know if this is PVC. I don't know. But this leather is very low maintenance. And then the canvas is perfect because you can, like, get it wet and stuff. So it's, like, very much a low maintenance bag for me. And I really, really like it. So I've had this now for over a year. Um... And I just, I just really, really love this bag. So it was definitely one of those where I wasn't expecting to love it, but I really, 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 really do. So very happy to have that in my collection. So the next bag, this, <laughs> this one is, uh, I, I think I've told this story on my channel before, but the next Louis Vuitton I got was this guy. So this is the bag I originally wanted when I went looking um, for my first Louis Vuitton, but this bag is about 1800 and the Speedy is about 14 so I, you know, decided to go with the Speedy, even though looking back, I should have just gotten the bag I really, really wanted. Um, so this is the Pochette Matisse, and honestly, I have seen so many of these bags since I got it in my hometown, which there's a lot of Louis Vuitton in Fargo, um, but I thought this bag was much rarer, but I feel like so many people have gotten it, and it also could be that people have replica bags. I don't know. Like I say, I can't tell the difference most of the time. Sometimes I'll see bags and I'm like, is that even, like, did Louis Vuitton even make a bag like that? Like, you know, so it's so hard to say. It's so hard to say. And, like, people in my hometown, they don't, like, dress up to the nines when they're carrying designer purses. So it's so hard to just, like, look at somebody. Like, you know, sometimes you think, like, People wear head-to-toe designer. That's not always the case, so I can never tell. Um, but this is an authentic Pochette Matisse. I got this again in Vegas. So I picked this bag up in 2019, this year, which I turned 30 in 2018. And my husband helped me. So I had $1,000 saved up for this bag and Rail pitched in the other amount that I needed to pick this up. So I was like, it was in the back of my mind that if we were in Vegas and like the sun, the stars, the moon aligned, I would be able to buy this bag and it was our last day. I had checked the Louis Vuitton in um, Caesars, I think, and I didn't really get a lot of chances to check out any of the other malls. And so I was waiting to meet Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and we were like killing time. I was gonna meet her right before we needed to go to the airport um, to catch our flight back to Fargo. And so I was like, fuck it, I'll just call the Louis Vuitton helpline or like their phone number, their 800 number. So I call the 800 number and I'm like, hey, my, you know, my name is Karen. I don't know if I said that. Okay. I just said, hey, it's my last day in Vegas. I'm about to get on a plane in a couple hours. Is there any store in Vegas that has Pochette Matisse? And she was like, it was so funny because I like to this day remember this conversation. She's like, okay. She's like, go to the Bellagio right now. Don't tell anyone what you're doing. Don't Instagram it. Don't Facebook it. Just go to the Bellagio. They have the Pochette Matisse there. And so I'm like, freaking out because I don't quite have the full amount to buy this bag and I told my husband I'm like honey they have them at the Bellagio and the Bellagio is literally like you know you gotta walk there but it's in the same like vicinity as where we were and my husband just looks at me and he's like let's go and I'm like no 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 like I can't drop almost two grand today like that's nuts right like I was like freaking out and Rail was so sweet like you guys don't understand how much like of a great guy my husband is. He's an amazing human being. So he's like, no, let's go get it. And I'm like, ah, like freaking out. And so we get to the Bellagio. I go to the store, the Louis Vuitton store, and they're like, yeah, we have it, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like, shit, I should have asked them if they have the reverse monogram, because that's even more rare. Um, but you know, hindsight is like 50, 50 or 20, 20 or whatever the fuck they say it is. Freaking out and I got to try this on and like, it's one of those things where it's like, if you get the chance to buy a Pochette Matisse, like, are you really gonna question things past that point? Um, so 
I bought it, it was so sweet, like my husband helped me pay for it, and so there's just so many like good memories attached to this bag. I got to meet Annette the day I bought this bag, like she was so supportive, such a great person. <laughs> um, <laughs> she totally enabled me um, while I was making this purchase. She wasn't even there. We ended up meeting her right after I had bought the bag, um, but yeah. I love this bag so, so much. So it's really cool. I love a good crossbody. Totally my vibe. If you like big bags, you're probably not gonna like this one, but it does pack quite the punch. I took my strap off um, just to keep, you know, when I store it, cause I'm not using this right now, but there's two big openings up here and then there's a little guy here and then there is also a back pocket. So I love carrying this around on the weekends. You can also wear it again as a top handle. My only gripe with this bag is it's hard to close the lock. Um, if it's not full, and I think that might be um, something wrong with my lock, <laughs> but I haven't obviously really, it hasn't bothered me enough to want to take the bag back, so I don't know, maybe someday if I, it really bothers me, I'll take it in and have them look at it. Um, but I love this bag and this is the first thing ever that I bought in the monogram print and now like the monogram print like has totally grown on me. Oh, I love this bag so much. Um, it's just such a, it was just such a fun, again, day, memory, like so many great things. Um, so I really, really like that bag. Now the last piece um, that I own from Louis Vuitton, I don't think I unboxed this because it was one of those things that was kind of like a purchase that I wasn't really planning on making and I just like totally bought this on a whim. And I bought the Neverfull. This is the big size. I can't remember what the big size is called. It has a term. Um, and I bought it in the az Azure. So white is Azure and this comes in the tan I think. And then I bought this, this is the Rose Ballerine color from Louis Vuitton and as you guys can see I have a purse organizer in here I think a purse organizer is pretty necessary for the Neverfull and especially for this color because I use it to keep the interior semi clean as you can see my handles are slowly patinaing but once they're you know super patina they turn into that honey color I don't know how I feel about that just yet so We'll have to see. This bag is huge. I went on three trips this year. So we went to Arizona, Tennessee, and I was in New York with my YouTube friends. And I took this bag with me each time. It is honestly a really great carry-on, <laughs> like tote, or like your handbag piece. So I really, really like it. It holds so much and I think you can use it with or without the organizer. Like I said, I have it in there just to protect the pink interior. And a lot of people love that this comes with this little pouch, which you can then use as a clutch or like an evening bag type of thing. And I think you can even buy like straps for this to, you know, wear it on your shoulder. I'm not really quite sure, but it does have this wristlet option. I've even seen people like sell just this on Poshmark, which it comes with the bag, so it is part of the cost of the bag. And the Neverfull will run you about the same price as the Speedy, I think. Again, I'll just put the links in the description box if you guys are interested in checking any of these out. And that bag I actually bought on the Louis Vuitton website. So um, the two I showed you first I bought in store and the Neverfull is from the website. So I feel like the Neverfull is my least favorite, honestly, of the three that I showed you today. And the Speedy was like the, I didn't expect to love it, but I do. But overall, I love all three of my purchases. I really want another Louis Vuitton for 2020, but right now I don't really quite have the budget for it. So I think I may end up passing on picking up a purse for my birthday, but that's okay. And then I did want to show you guys as well a fragrance that I have. So this is um, my Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim fragrance and Rel got this for me as an anniversary gift this year. So Rel actually really loves the male fragrance. I wanted to throw this in because this is like honestly such a great gift idea. So if you guys are trying to figure out what to get your husband 
or your wife for the holidays or maybe you have an anniversary coming up, this is honestly an amazing gift, um, especially because it is a luxury item, but the price tag is a little bit better. So th they have two different bottle sizes, I believe. This is the 100 ml, um, made in France, and it's uh, 3.4 fluid ounces. So this is what the bottle looks like. Now they have different fragrances. This one is just like the one I really liked the most of all their fragrances. It was limited edition, so I don't know if you can still find Afternoon Swim, but they have a ton of other fragrances. I'm gonna link the one that my husband bought. It's called Lim Lim Limoniste, and it's so good. Like, <laughs> if you guys want your husbands to smell like a snack, like, get them this fragrance. And it's 250 bucks, but the good thing about Louis Vuitton is they will refill the bottles. So if you finish it up, you can send it in or go into a store, I believe, and they will refill it for you, which is so cool. And also mine has my initials on it. So if you buy the fragrance and they happen to do um, this in store, you can get your initials on there. I think you could get your name. I don't know. They they showed me like options. So I got my initials um, with gold on here and it's kind of like, I don't know, lasered, carved, I don't know. And it doesn't take very long. So this is again, such a special thing for me because again, it's tied to our anniversary. Um, me and Rail got to go pick it out in a store together. And like, it was just such a fun experience for the both of us. And his fragrance we bought in um, Vegas when we were um, there for work together. And that scent, I'm telling you guys, like my girlfriends have smelled rail and I'm like, get this for your husband because <laughs> it smells so good. And he wears it like to work and like people smell it, smell him all day. It lasts really, really nicely. It wears well, works well with his body chemistry. So just a suggestion if you guys are looking for a nicer gift for your spouse. And I like Afternoon Swim. The only gripe I have with it is I don't feel like it lasts as long as Rail's fragrance does. And most of their fragrances are unisex, so this one I think a man can wear too. But Lemoniste is amazing. So those are all like my mini little reviews and like what I think about some of the products I own from Louis Vuitton after having owned them for a while. That's pretty much it, like I don't have this like super massive collection. So now I'm gonna unbox this beautiful little, little nugget box. It's so cute and they included this card. So if you guys have seen some people unbox like newer purchases from Louis Vuitton, this is their holiday packaging. It's so freaking cute and like, it's just such an experience like, shopping designer. I know it's not for everyone and I'm not telling you to go <laughs> go into debt buying designer goods but it's so fun. It's like such a little treat for yourself and I would love to do like a Louis Vuitton wish list video if you guys would like to see it. I can make that happen. Okay I'm gonna I'm gonna open it. It's really not that special but it kind of is. <laughs> so here is what it looks like. And it actually comes with a dust bag. I think I took it out of the dust bag to take a look, but let me just, here, I'll give you guys the full experience. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I'm so sorry, okay? Um, so here is the dust bag. It comes in a little dust bag. And you go like that and you take it out. <laughs> and there is what it is. So this is the Louis Vuitton card holder. And it's again in the monogram print, which I am now obsessed with. And basically I was looking for a gift for under $200 ish and they have card holders. So I was like, perfect, it'll go with my pochette. And these are so like long lasting and durable and I love to keep just like my main cards in something like this. And I can link this for you guys as well if you are wanting to buy something like this for like say a spouse. Um, they also have a really cute like chain purse. What is it called? It's like a keychain wallet type deal with like a little zipper. I was debating that, but I just thought a card holder would be just so sleek and I don't know, kind of understated. Like it's one of those pieces again that, you know, it's just like cute. Coated fabric cowhide leather lining. So 
Yeah, soup's cute. I haven't used it yet because I just got it in and I was like debating. I was like, okay, if I unbox this, it'll take me like one minute. Like I can't post a one minute video. So I thought I'd tie in a few reviews of some of the things I've owned for quite some time and just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update on those. So if you guys have any Louis Vuitton questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm also gonna link my friend Samadhi. Um, she's actually Sri Lankan and she used to live in Minnesota we never met in person but we met on YouTube and Instagram and she has a pretty epic um, luxury bag collection she just moved to the UK though so I don't know if she's gonna continue filming but she has a ton of um, bag videos so if you guys like to binge watch um, luxury um, bag videos and tags and stuff like that she does a ton of those um, so I'll try and remember to link her cuz I think you guys might enjoy her channel as well and she does like more fashion stuff so yeah that is everything yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I know it's a little bit different for me but this is like if I didn't have a makeup channel I would love to have a luxury bag channel except you would only see like three bags and that that will be the entire things. Anyway guys, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye guys!